Hello everyone, I'm Major Jip, and today I'm going to be taking a quick look at this cheap little Bluetooth amplifier that I bought off of eBay for $12. Uh, yeah, I bought this about a month ago, it shipped directly from China, and it came in the mail today. So I thought I'd take a quick look at it. Um, as you can probably tell, it has, it's, it's an amplifier. You know, you have your speaker connections there, your power input, which is 12 volts at 1.5 amps. They say you can go up to 28 volts. I don't really need it that high. 12 volts, more than enough to test it. Um, you have the standard you know, sort of eBay Bluetooth module uh, running at Bluetooth 4.0, I believe, which might be the latest one. I don't entirely remember. And you have a little, um, a really tiny little amplifier chip. And uh, you have a few passives and you know, just a few supporting components for the amplifier. Um, what else? You have this, which I believe is a line line out, but it seemed to put out a fairly high um, amount of power for a line out, but who knows. Because um, I plugged in a cheap pair of headphones and they were really loud. Um, most of the time, line level is very low voltage. It seemed very high. Um, okay, so we have volume down, volume up, next, back, and play. These three or four... Uh, control of your music through Bluetooth, and those two I figure you know already know is for volume. I might even said they're for volume. I don't remember. Um. Anyway, and you have a little hardware power switch, which actually just cuts the main power coming in, which uh, isn't exactly the nicest way of doing it, but it does make sure it doesn't use any power when it's not plugged in. Uh, you have these two dip switches, which you can use to set the amount of power that going out to the speakers. Uh, in fact, let me drop them down, because with the speakers I have attached to this thing, which are, well, which is a one of the little all-in-one things from Dual that goes in your car. Um, I bought these for ten dollars at a yard sale. They're actually pretty decent speakers. I. I use them for testing things like this, basically. And they're good for that, because they're 4 ohms, and uh, you can go all the way down to 4 ohms with this thing. And you're going to get you know, a little bit more power at 4 ohms compared to 8 ohms. Um, what else? Is there anything else I need to go over? I don't think so. Um, I have powered this thing up for quite some time, as uh, I wanted to see how long it would last and if it would blow itself up. And it didn't, which was a nice thing. Uh, I already have it all set up in my phone. All you do is search for a Bluetooth device, click on it, and it connects. It's, it's really nice how streamlined um, Bluetooth stuff has gotten these days. And, as you'd imagine, you need a little screwdriver to tighten down these. And I got an email. Um, <laughs> you need a little, screw little screwdriver to tighten up these little uh, things for the wires. That's pretty common. Pretty typical little uh, jumper blocks. Um, now I will say, before turning this thing on, uh, if you're wearing headphones, turn the volume way down, or you know, take them off your ears for a second, because this thing is very loud when it first starts up. It starts up at like 75% volume or something like that, and it makes all kinds of, you know, beeping and, you know, various beeping noises. Really loud. So if you're wearing headphones, Probably hurt your ears. So I'm gonna be turn it on in three, two, one. Yeah, there it is. Um, actually, I'm gonna do that one more time to show you something. These um, these adjust the amount of power output power going into the speakers. So I'm going if I pop that off again. Turn both these switches on. I don't know it, if it's because it's trying to put out too much power for the amplifier chip, or if it doesn't have too much enough power coming in to handle that initial curve of um, powering up the speakers. But yeah, it can't handle having everything fully up when you first turn it on. Well, with my setup, if you had a higher voltage going in, it might not be an issue. All right, cover your ears again.
I don't know why they made it so loud. I mean, I guess starting it up at a decent volume is fine, because then you won't really have to mess with the volume controls on this thing. But, if it does that beeping, it shouldn't beep that loudly. That's, it's very irksome. It's actually loud enough to, to um, sort of feel it in your ears. It's just really loud noise. Not good. But anyway, let me load up my phone, find the only piece of music I ever seem to play in these things, because I really need to throw on some more music I could use. And that would be the song that comes with every Samsung phone. Or at least every Galaxy S4. They might have a different version for different phones. Ooh, you could see the uh, the lines from the screen refreshing on the uh, LEDs. LED, OLED screen, or it's flickering, who knows. But anyway, I'm going to turn the volume way down. Now this does, I do have this on the low setting, so... Might not be able to hear that. I'm going to wind this up slowly. Now, I want to show you the difference between the uh, different power modes. And I will use a screwdriver, which probably isn't the best of ideas for these little dip switches. I could actually just leave them both set up and just adjust the phone volume. As you can hear, there's a little bit of static on there. Um, yeah, and if you turn this volume all the way up, it starts sounding really distortion-y and really um, staticky. It's not very good. In fact, I think that's why it works better. Like that, because then you have a little bit less static on the amplifiers. So on the low setting, I'm not going to push this thing all the way because they do get loud. But on the lowest setting for the smallest speakers, Yeah, it gets pretty loud. So, yeah, I want to get a little bit more into this thing and find out just how they make it and how it has so much output power. Um, but, I mean, if you have any questions, or better yet, if you have any information regarding the circuitry of this thing, because uh, they don't have too many data sheets for these, you know, different parts. I mean, I know this is a standard Bluetooth module with the CSR chip. I mean, that's one of the most common things you find on eBay if you look for Bluetooth module because they're used on um, the Raspberry Pis and I don't know <laughs> whatever else I think even uh, the Arduinos have a Bluetooth board that uses one of those could be wrong not exactly in that scene but yeah, that's a pretty common chipset um, this little amplifier I haven't been able to find too much information I know Running this thing for a long period of time, that thing only gets lukewarm. Well, warm to the touch at least, so. As I was saying, thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or... I don't know. Leave a comment or send me a mess a personal message. As usual, if YouTube still does that, because I'm not even sure anymore. Anyway, thank you for watching. This is Major Jip, signing out.